Selamat datang di acara doa dan penyembahan bersama komunitas Indonesia di Anglican San John Camberwell. Ini merupakan suatu keistimewaan bagi kami untuk bisa berdoa dan menyembah Tuhan secara bersama. Sebelum acara dimulai, marilah kita berdoa. Allah Bapa di sorga, kami bersyukur untuk bisa berkumpul bersama untuk berdoa dan menyembah Engkau. Dan biarlah doa dan penyembahan ini menjadi berkat bagi semua orang. Amin. Kami berdoa untuk perdamaian dunia di negara-negara konflik. Ya Roh Kudus, lembutkanlah hati para pemimpin di daerah konflik sehingga bisa bernegosiasi untuk berdamai. Tuhan, kasihanilah kami. Dengarkanlah doa kami. Kami berdoa untuk setiap orang yang khawatir, stres, depresi, atau yang mengalami sakit kronis. Tuhan, berikan bantuan kepada mereka. Tuhan, kasihanilah kami. Tuhan, kami saat ini berdoa kesembuhan untuk teman kami Yulia Hadi yang sedang sakit. Berikan kekuatan dan penghiburan saat ini kepada Yulia Hadi melalui roh kudusmu. Tuhan, Kasihanilah kami.
Doa untuk Australia dan Indonesia Tuhan yang Maha Kasih kami berdoa untuk Bapak Joko Widodo dan Scott Morrison sebagai pemimpin bangsa Indonesia dan Australia Tuhan berikanlah tuntunan dan hikmat kepada mereka dalam masa penuh tantangan ini Tuhan kasihanilah kami Tuhan yang baik berikan kekuatan dan penghiburan baik orang-orang yang kehilangan pekerjaan, rumah, dan orang-orang terkasih sebagai dampak dari COVID-19 baik di Indonesia dan Australia. Tuhan, kasihanlah kami. Tuhan, kami bersyukur atas hubungan bilateral yang baik antara Indonesia dan Australia. Tuhan, kasihanilah kami. Tuhan, kami bersyukur atas kepemimpinan Arbisop 
Jeffrey Smith sebagai Primat Anglican Church di Australia dan biarlah Archbishop Jeffrey Smith selalu dipimpin Roh Kudus. Tuhan kasihanilah kami. Tuhan, kami berdoa agar iman kekristenan kami dapat memberi pengaruh terhadap kehidupan orang. Tuhan kasihanilah kami. Pembacaan diambil dari Luke 23 ayat 26 sampai 43. As they led him away, they seized a man, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming from the country, and they laid the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. A great number of the people followed him, and among them, the women who were beating their breast and wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Doctors of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourself and for your children. For the days are surely coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bore and the breast that never knows. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, fall on us and to the hills, cover us. For if they do this when the wood is green, what will happen <coughs> when it is dry? To others also who are criminals will let away to be put to death with him. When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus. They with the criminals on one his right and one of his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lost to divide his clothing. And the people stood by watching, but the leaders scoffed at him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him. This is the king of Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged, they kept deriding him and saying, are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, says condemnation, saying, do you not hear, fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, Truly, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, let your word be our word. Amen. Everyone has their own uniqueness to identify who they are. At the same step with Jesus, his signature in his life and his ministry is all about God. God as a leader. God is the center of his ministry. Jesus testified the truth and never gonna shake 
and compromise in entire life. It was not a theoretical performance by Jesus, but what he did. He brings the words of God into a life by teaching, influencing people through discipleship and to be a servant for the world. When we read our Bible reading, the crucifixions of Jesus, God invites us through Jesus' life there is always hope in any circumstances. We might hear many stories of our friends or family by saying, I lost everything. I lost my job, friend, family, and I don't know what to do. Or my life will come to end due to my sickness. You are looking at Luke's gospel. Two criminals and Jesus have the same fight. They will die at the cross. But there is a huge difference between Jesus and one criminal and the other criminals. How they react, how they respond in their hardship. With Jesus, he keeps his fight to God without any doubt and testify about the truth by saying to the criminal, truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. If we try not to reflect it, what Jesus say in the hardships, he still keeps his fight to God. And also another criminals that he believed that Jesus has done nothing wrong. It was a moment that show a hope is not about how much that you've done a good thing in this world and how much that the bad things that you did in this world. It's not the perfections that the criminals show, but humility of himself to God. I close this thought of the day. I'd like to quote one verse from 2 Timothy 4, verses 7. I thought that good fight, I have finished the race, I kept the faith. I heard the first, this verse for the first time when my mom and grandma passed away 33 years ago. And more first, and more that I heard in a funeral. This verse is show a journey with God wherever we go until we finish our race. Let us pray. Dear God, we're so grateful your invitations through Jesus Christ. Let this message dwell in our heart, in our life. Amen.
Loving God, who creates us in the image of yours, guide us to be your witnesses in this world, that our footprint may live to the heart of people wherever we go. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. My 
Oh 